Hello everybody, this is Homura and this time I bring you a tutorial video on how to install and successfully play the Brutal Doom mod. Now I know that sometimes external applications, mods and guides can be quite tricky and you may end up being confused. So I decided to make a guide myself and with the help of the very useful link I will guide you step by step on how to successfully run for the first time the mod. Um, Okay, so let's start. The first thing that you need is a new folder, a new Doom folder, like this one. New Doom folder, where you will put all your new files that you require in order to run the Brutal Doom mod. Um, the second thing that you need is this guide over here, this link. I will put, of course, a link down in the description below. Uh, use it, it's very good. So, let's start. Firstly, of course, you need to find your Doom files, your Doom games. If you bought them from uh, Steam, it will be in the Steam files. If you already have them, find them. And what you need is the WAD files, Doom WAD and Doom 2 WAD. Each game, each Doom game that you have, has a WAD inside. For example, if you have Plutonia, it will have Plutonia WAD. If you have Doom 2, like this one, over here it will have Doom 2 WAD, etc. What I have is Classic Doom and Doom 2. So my WAD files are here and here. S uh, next, next up on the list is the uh, GZ Doom file. Click it, it will download directly. It's this one, G Doom file. You can go to the website and download there, but you can click it, it will download directly. Next one is a Z Doom Launcher. Click it. This one. This one. ZDL. Okay. You can go to the website from your Brutal Doom. Click the Brutal Doom. Of course, the mod. Download it. I already have it. It's here. Of course, if you want, you can download the high resolution texture pack for your Doom games. It's just a PK3 file over here, pk 35 it um, brings the Doom 3, the Doom, the classic Doom graphics up to speed uh, so you can actually use whatever res resolution your monitor is which is amazing and if you want you can download the Doom Metal soundtracks actually what this does is replaces the, Do the MIDI files, the classical MIDI files that Doom has into uh, heavy metal ones which are very cool alright so Right now you should have one, two, three, four zipped files, a PK3 file with the resolution pack, and your WAD files. I have just these two WAD files. And the next step is actually a very simple copy and paste situation. You open up your new, your folder. I have already done everything, that's why you can see all the stuff right here. But what I did actually was take these four files, copy, paste them inside, and extract them inside the folder. You see? One, two, three, four. You can delete them if you want after you have extracted them, but always keep a backup. Keep them somewhere like this. I chose to leave them where they are. Also, take your high resolution PK3 file and your two WAD files and copy paste them inside here okay so after you have done all that your folder your new Doom folder should look like something like mine alright now what you need in order to go to the next step is this application this Excel file over here ZDL use it it will open up this window okay this window has two, set, two main windows, main window here and main window setting over here. Firstly, we will go to the settings where it says source ports over here. What you need here is this GZ Doom XA. You remember the one that we downloaded? Okay. Press add folder. Now, in your new Doom folder, you should find the GZ Doom XA. You need an XA, you need this application, you need the GZ Doom where the marine icon is. Double click it, 
I already done it, it should be this one, the directory and your gz etc. After you have done that, go where it says iWords, you remember these two, what files that we pasted in here? What you need to do is browse and find all your what files. I only have, like I said, Doom and Doom to Word. Uh, you may have others, double click one of them. They should be put right here. They should be put right here. If you have more, uh, they here should list Plutonia WAD, uh, TNT WAD. Uh, I have only these two. You, we need them in order to launch our game. Now, go to the main. Alright. Your WADs are still over here. Excellent. Here, what do you see? What you actually see over here are all the external files, all the mods, let's say, that we want to use in our Doom game. Firstly, what you need is just the brutal PK3 that we extracted on our folder, the Doom Metal if you chose to install it to extract it, and the Z Doom PK3. You remember our high resolution uh, texture? Okay. Uh, double click each one of these and they should be put in our list Brutal Doom, Doom Metal and Z Doom PK3 are high resolution pack what I chose to do is download some other modes for example here you can see uh, the HUD which changes uh, the HUD of the game um, and two mutators two other modes which changes the zombie sounds and some uh, and another one. I will talk about this in a moment. So, right now you should be ready to go. So, if you choose one of these ones, if you want to you want to play the Doom, the classical Doom, uh, click Doom, click launch. Do click, you want to play Doom 2, click Doom, click launch. It should launch the game. Before doing that, though, I want to talk about some other mods that you can find. I will put the description, the link down in the description. Um, these are some mods that we can use in our Brutal Doom. In, uh, this is a Doom Metal soundtrack that we already use. And this particular mod over here, Doom Brutal Doom Mutators. I use some of these, like I said before, about the zombie sounds. You can go read more over here. And here changes some features of the game. Uh, if you can see in my, my review of the, the Brutal Doom uh, video, I talk about how the pistol doesn't exist anymore. Um, uh, actually, they replaced the classic pistol with the machine gun. If you don't want that, you can use the pistol mutator, which is a PK3 file, um, who that actually changes the machine gun with a pistol and bringing other features like 50, 15 shots uh, reload of course you can aim down the sides as a machine gun it has a great accuracy and you can uh, fire it as uh, fast as you can click the mouse so it's a cool feature indeed um, and, and change other other stuff of the game too uh, these PK3 files of course you can use them over here as external mods. You download it from you, you download the mutator from uh, from this uh, site, of course. Download over here. Extract the zip file in our new game folder, and here you see that bread maps, etc. These are the, these are the the the, <laughs> the mods that I use actually. So, you choose them. And uh, right now I want to launch the Doom game in order to tell you some changes that you need to do in-game. So, what we do is click Doom 2 and click Launch. It should launch the game. Alright, we are inside. So, um, you can go to options of course uh, you see this video this screen is pretty much changed of course from the classic doom 
go display options, open GL options. You should take advantage uh, of the op of the new texture and the graphical options that this mod gives you. It's amazing. Uh, go to preferences. You should change adjust sprite clipping to always. What this does is uh, that prevents sprites from getting stuck in the floor. Okay. Having done that, go to texture options. High quality resize mode. You can put it to HQ2X. What this does is that it gives you nice sprites and good performance. I prefer to use 4X. I think it looks better, but that's not my option, but my opinion, of course. Um, precast GL textures. Put it to yes. What this does is that it prevents lagging. Okay. Um, escape. Go to death camera. Put it on, so you can see all the amazing fatalities of the of the game. If you want any option, if any help, go press F1. It's everything over here. Okay, headshots, as you can see, kicks, etc. Um, another thing that uh, I need to tell you is about the reload function. Some weapons in this game have the re can reload uh, the machine gun or the pistol if you use another another mode. Uh, the shotgun, the rocket launcher has a reload, but. If you go to customize controls over here, we this weapon reload uh, option doesn't work. Okay, it will not work if you, if you use it. Even if you bind to a key, what you need to do is go down the options here. Vertical Doom actions. This reload function works. Okay, and the kick also bind it to a key of your liking. Um, Also, you should uh, play around with the options. There's a, there is a huge array of options in the video modes. Of course, change the resolution. As you can see, I play in this resolution right here, uh, which is amazing, actually. You can play, uh, most monitors have this resolution or this one. Aspect radio, full screen, you can change uh, the hue options. Of course, you can put a Corsair if you want, of, or if you don't want the color. Um, everything, actually anything that you would like to change, it's, ra it's over here, it's right here. Uh, this one is amazing actually. Um, uh, actually this is it. If you find this, if you found this uh, guide informative and entertaining, please uh, subscribe and give me a like, as it helps a lot. Um, I will most probably do a complete uh, walkthrough and uh, play through of the game. Uh, it's amazing anyway and as always take care guys and have a good one